ueradiolive.com. What up, Philly? What, what up, up, world? What's good? We're on yuriradiolive.com. And you're chilling with Miss P and Miss Gloria the Yeah. How are you today? I'm doing lovely. Enjoying this beautiful weather out here. Yeah, it's uh, unusually hot out here today. It's hot but breezy. It's not humid. Yeah, yeah I live in Miami and Orlando oh, both, yeah. and it's humid. It's perfect for me. Yeah. I love Miami, too. Yeah, I come to Oh, yeah, that's what I So, um, we're live here at uh, our raw store on 15 South Street. Um, and we're getting ready to set up a good interview with Miss Gloria Valencia. So we have everyone here in the building, so shout out to everyone that actually came down and came to see Miss Gloria Valencia. So real quick, I want to get into a couple of questions that I have for you. Okay. Um, my first question is, what age did you start your modeling career? Um, actually at 14 years old. I was okay. modeling for John Casablanca. Okay, yeah. definitely. And where was that? Was that in New York or Miami? Um, actually Miami. Miami? Yeah, did like Broadway, um, Maddie Keith, you know how you see those young girls uh -huh. in the mall, standing still, really? like, changing outfits, yeah, did all that. Oh, yeah. okay, so you started pretty young, so you were always, always interested in being some type of model. Yes, definitely into the industry. Okay, definitely. So, um, what was, oh, you said the name of your first model company was Indy? Indy John Casablanca, yeah. And from there, what, what went off of your career? How did you begin getting into I used to be in dance in school, and um, I did a lot of competitions in Miami. Okay. And, you know, won money and competition against other girls, and other artists saw me dance. But I'd love you to be, you know, a backup dancer for my group. There's a okay. lot of days when dance was in. Okay. Freestyle music. And on weekends and holidays, I went on tour with them, and my mom would be right there, and I loved them. Definitely. Yeah. I had my mom here last last time we did an interview with the oh, really? artist Trey Tree, so shout out to you. But yeah, I had my mom. It feels good when your parents like yes, support you in your yes. career. Definitely. And that's important to me. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she always had my back no matter what. Okay, definitely. Yeah. My mom does too. So, so she's, she's my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get into. You said you're a model and you dance. Yes. What are some of the music videos that you have been in? Um, my first music video was actually a um, live show trip with Jay Z and Timberland. Okay. Yeah, and I got a call stating that um, Jay didn't like none of the girls on the scene. Okay. He thought they were like horrible. <laughs> and I walked up and I was like, yo, Jay, what up? Uh -huh. And he was like, yeah, you're driving the car. Oh. And so it was just, like, just like just that? Just like that. I mean, if you want it, you got to go get it. Definitely. Yeah, you got to open your mouth. And uh -huh. I have a big mouth. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I speak quiet. my mind. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere in this yeah. life if you're not going to open your mouth. Yeah, you got to like that. And um, I met um, Irv Gotti on the set, and okay. his new artist, Ja Rule. Okay. And two weeks later, we went to um, Brazil and did Hala Hala. Hala Hala, I was going to say, that was the next one, Hala Hala. And that afternoon was like video after know. video after video, yeah. Definitely. And I didn't do no casting, because I met a lot of the directors. Okay. You know, Hype Williams, and mm -hmm. Little Eggs, and Benny Boom, and... Mm -hmm. you know. So sometimes it goes to show, it's not what you know. Exactly. Yeah. And it was especially a stepping stone. It was like a st I stumbled into that. I think it was destined for me to do that. Definitely. Yeah. So, especially in this industry, you kind of have to know a lot of people. Yeah. About connecting. It definitely people. is because you can see a lot of these people that I'm not trying to mention any names that um, have no talent and it's just who you know and are out there, you know, and that are really maybe trash and garbage. <laughs> maybe I should have. Uh, hold it like this. There we go. Oh, is it, is it that bad? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks sexy though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, Worked with Jay Z, yes, Herb Gotti, yes, Ja Rule, yes, DMX, DMX. Cisco, um, Jagged Edge, uh -huh. um, Nelly. Uh -huh. um, I've worked with a lot of people. So you, you have a, a nice little roster. Yeah, 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 a lot of headliners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. major, major videos. That the videos now are not the same anymore. Yeah, yeah. they're not. The production, the makeup, the Everything's hair. So fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. everything's fake. It's not the same. I mean, the quality of videos now it has changed. Yeah, and the girls have cheap too. <laughs> so, I, I hear that you've entered into another level, which is music. Yes. Now, you went for modeling, you go and modeling the videos. How did you make that transfer? Well, um, when I was on tour with Cisco, and we were on the No Strings Attached tour with Cisco. I okay. mean, with, um, um, whatchamacallit, uh, in sync. Okay. And they had an introduction with me, you know, coming out with a big pimpin' outfit on and everything. And I love how the crowd roared and, you know, I had my little my little scene and everything. I was like, this is what I want to do in life, you know? So music was here. At that moment, it was like a little light bug. Yeah, I had a girl group. Everybody had a group. And I was like 19, 20 at the time. And the, after then, I took it seriously and I became solo. Okay. Because when you have a girl group or any group, you got to wait on other people. Yeah, Like, definitely. they might not have the same drive definitely. or... 
you know, they don't see the same vision and mm -hmm. they get off. I'd rather deal with it myself. If I'm going to fail, I'm going to fail on my own, not because you don't want to show up. Definitely. Yeah, so since then, um, I signed with Ty Five and he got mm -hmm. a deal with Ronnie Jerkins and I used Ronnie to Baby from Cash Money. Okay. Yeah, and you know, at that time, Baby didn't really sign so many people and they didn't push show anybody out. So everybody went their separate ways after that. Okay. So from there, what was your first actual recording with record that you recorded on? Um, I mean, I, I've recorded with a lot of people from Bone Thugs and Harmony, um, just a lot of people. So you did like hooks or you know, verses? No, my verses and they were on my hooks okay. or they did a verse. Like I have a lot of music that never been released. Oh, so you have a lot. In from back, back from yeah. Back. I know wow. that all that will come out. Yeah, and I did a lot oh, yeah. of bass tracks when I was really young when mm -hmm. bass was like popping. Okay. So R&B, I did songs with Cisco. I did songs with a lot of people. Okay. You know, but they just, back then, me being Latina in the hip hop game, it, it wasn't, I guess, acceptable or okay. I didn't feel that pattern of what a female hip hopper should mm -hmm. look like or act. And I really proved my way in a lot of aspects. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you don't got to be thug coming from the hood. You know what I mean? I could be a suburb and still be street. Okay. You know, and I had, I guess I had to, you know, give a one-two to a few females in the game mm -hmm. to show them that I'm real. Okay. You know what I mean? Pretty girls can fight too. Okay. You know, and I think it's a crazy stigma that you gotta look a certain way, be a certain way, or to be a female in MC. And Don't I think you hate that's totally wrong. I hate it. That's wrong. Yeah. And if you're pretty, you can't be street or smart. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't thug it out. Like I, I got my. Let me know. find out you have, you have other, a whole other side. Of, I do. I promise you, I do. Side. Oh, I do. I'm from Brooklyn. So you put so, your scarf on and everything. Or yeah, you of course. Them? I can put my gloves on. We can do it. Any female rapper, I'll get in the ring with. Oh, I'm a stay. So you go hard. Yeah, all day. Okay, and then, you know, I, I, I'm a mom, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a daughter to my mom. Like, I, I'm, I'm a little bit of everything. And as a female, and you're a female, we got to have different hats. You know what I mean? You're an so, entrepreneur. Yes. A diva. Yes. So um, I do it all. I can cook, clean, you know what I mean? And thug it out. So you just change your heads every day. Oh, always. As you should. Yeah. So moving further along, let's get into explain your style and who's going you talking about all the female rappers. What sets Gloria Velez aside from the Little Kims and the Nicki Minaj's and Foxy Browns and the Queen Latifah's? Right. Just a little bit of everybody. Why would, what would make you different from them? I'm not trying to be them mm -hmm. at all. Um, I'm doing a little bit of pop in my hip hop, definitely salsa and merengue, you know, okay. that reggaeton type. Oh, so you bring in some of the A little bit of everything, okay. you know, and I'm a performer first, too. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I dance. A lot of these girls don't put performance on stage. Okay. You know, they're on stage like they're a dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just, just standing there. And I would definitely bring the performance on. And just my tone, everything is different. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to be nobody else. I'm not trying to be a chameleon to be a Kim or a Fox. I mean, they paved the way. I've chilled with bad respect. You know what I mean? I love Fox. I love Eve. I love Lauryn Hill. Definitely. But females like Nicki and them, I can't respect. Because I think you're trying to be a clone. And then you don't even acknowledge that you're trying to be a clone. You know, you're a gimmick. So I just can't respect that. And I just voice my opinion. And I'm going to hold my tongue for nothing. So you pretty much have found your own lane yes. into the business. Which is always a question. There's so many different lanes. and so many ways that you can end up on top. And you right. found another one. So what do you plan on doing with your music career and bringing it out to the forefront? If um, you can expose it. No, it's yeah, yeah. Secret. No, it's not top secret. It's just, I mean, just being original, just being me, expressing myself, like the songs of me expressing me being a single mom for a long time. You know, um, things I've gone through in this industry. It's a male-dominant industry. Definitely. You know, and you got to be strong-minded, mm -hmm. you know? Can I curse? Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we're That's one thing you about know what I mean? Shout out to everyone. You know, I'd rather be called a bitch than a hoe. So okay. I'd be a bitch all day. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And I'm strong headed and I speak my mind. I don't give a fuck. If you don't like it, too bad. And a lot of these ladies got to so understand. This is the other fact. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I, you know, I got to look at the ladies real quick. Shout out to my girls of the day. You know, um, I got to tell these ladies, like, the less you put out, the more you get. Like, mm -hmm. a man want to fight for it anymore once they get it. You know, in this industry, you will be tried. I get tried every day, even in meetings. You know what I mean? Definitely. I keep key laughing in their face, but it's about business. You know, I have a dinner. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I take gifts. But other than that, like, Bobby, it ain't nothing going down unless I choose to. Definitely. You know? So a lot of these females just don't give up. I promise you, they'll give you way, way more. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have talent, then I understand why a lot of these chicks and the video game, they have nothing else to look forward to. They have no talent. Nothing beyond that. Mm -hmm. Videos is a stepping stone in a career. <laughs> It's not a career, mm -hmm. you know? And so a lot it's of these, definitely you're supposed to venture off into other Exactly, and a lot of them just flop. That's why Melissa Ford can move forward. She got education, she's smart. Mm -hmm. 
You know, you can't say that to a lot of these girls, like a Vita Guerrero has no talent, can't sing, can't rap, can't even hold an interview. You know what I mean? And they view all women like that. All women are not like that. And a real model, let me tell you, is 5'8 and up. Like all these 4'11s, I'm not, you know, dissing on short okay. people, but model, yeah. runway, that's... I'm not, I'm not five. Okay, but you know, what you say What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? I can get a couple inches on it. But then you could do magazine work. But like real models, when, mm -hmm. when all these girls on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that, like you got to know that they, there's no real future. Mm -hmm. that. Like these fake butts and all that stuff, that's yeah. not sexy to me. Mm -hmm. That's a little too much. All you look at is just straight sex. Mm -hmm. You know? It's about aura, charisma, it's about how you carry yourself. That's, that's, that's good that you mentioned it because we have a lot of young people that look up to a lot of females that are in the industry right. and a lot of rap artists that are in the industry and they see their whole lifestyle, the whole facade of it, but right. they don't know the, the true part of what actually goes down in the, in the meetings in the business right. room and exactly. when the, the cameras are off. So right. it's like they just see the glamour part about it. So it's great that you mentioned that this is a work we do that. Oh, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of sitting weight and I mean, photo shoots is, is a long process. Okay. You know what I mean? It's hair and makeup, and mm -hmm. the lighting, and getting the right picture, and if not just bending over and showing mm -hmm. your ass. That's not real models, ladies. Not no. at all. Like a real model is about fashion. And mm -hmm. It puts a lot of work into that. Something you know, different. Yeah, way, way different. Anybody can take a butt pic. Right? Anybody can take a butt pic. Yeah. 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 You, got, you got a nice butt. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, I was checking you out a little no, time ago. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, definitely, we're going to get into so when getting to some of your music. Okay. Um, when do we expect something from you? Like, a, a, I know you've been on a lot of features. Yes, and a lot of videos. When do we expect your album or mixtape? What are you coming out with? Is it an album or? Is it well, I don't want to mixtapes coming out with a lot of different DJs all over. Okay. The East West Coast. But I'm actually shooting a video in Vegas um, next month, the 12th and 13th, with Floyd Mayweather's artist landlord. Okay. It's called Playhouse. Oh, that's crazy. Be fun. Yeah. yeah. So we're negotiating too. So you know, I might be over there a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. rocking with uh, Filthy Rich, Filthy Rich Records. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. You know, Floyd's about his business. But um, I'm keeping my options open. Keeping them mm -hmm. open. So you yeah. haven't signed any? No, I haven't signed that line as of yet. Oh, yeah. Hand files today. Okay. And he's my homie. I've known him for years. So okay. yeah, he's a great mm -hmm. dude. Yeah. Definitely. So, will you be dropping something this year, next year, or? Um, yeah, I mean, because I'm, I'm anticipating because I love music. That's you know. I know, I know. They're like, girl, accident. <laughs> accident. So, um, yeah, definitely gonna, I'm gonna drop a lot of music this year. And definitely. Yeah, definitely for sure. So I'm gonna flood. I'm gonna flood. Well, you make sure UE Radio has everything. All, everything. Yeah. I, you know, I'm gonna text you personally. Like, um, I don't hear my stuff on the radio right now. So you have to. We're gonna hear. Yeah. Yeah, I just mean writing. I mean a little bit of everything. I want to please all the audiences, like pop, mm -hmm. the Latino, urban, everything. Everything. You know? Yeah. So you're touching a little bit of a little bit of everything. So we're gonna get into. I know they're anticipating. Everyone's out there. They're ready to ask you a whole bunch of questions. I'm always ready. Okay. So I'm gonna pass over the mic. Once again, we're on UERadioLive.com. Get your name to Miss P and Gloria. UERadioLive.com.